You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, we're going to talk about Kaitlyn Clark in the Indiana Fever. They got another W tonight. And Caitlin Clark had a couple of different things that happened that were pretty remarkable. One of them was her stat line. Good hell. When she gets a, a full year in this league, it is going to be almost unfair. Because the stat line that she put up tonight was frightening. They got the big W. But the most impressive stat line of the night that we're going to get to before we jump into this is the following. Now, let me understand this. Angel Reese just told us it wasn't just one person, correct? Caitlin Clark went to Washington, D.C. to the Road Teams Arena. All right? And she did the following. The Fever Mystics is the highest attended WNBA game since 2007. At 20,333 people. A 2-9 team versus an 0-10 team. That is ridiculous. It is the fifth highest attended game in league history. That is, folks, bonkers. They put this game in the Capital One Arena. I mean, serious. She's that good. Star power is on a million. Wow. The CC effect. It was a hell of a game. It was a good game. Let's take a look at this three. She shot this three from Tokyo, Japan, folks. She was way out right here. Boom. I mean, bam. From way downtown, bam. Just like that, it was a hell of a game. It was. This was the final stat line that the W put up. She had 30 points, 7 threes, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and 4 steals. I mean, seriously, what a ridiculous stat line. Fans are reacting. This was great for women's basketball. Great game for CC. Look, she'll, she'll get a handle on the turnovers. She has literally, if my math is right, just completed her 12th game in which they pick her up on the floor 94 feet down. I almost had a stroke. Great team win, ladies. Go fever. I mean, this shit is too easy. My God. This person said, I don't like her, but I'm not a hater. Damn, she might have just secured the Rookie of the Year spot. It's it's wild, folks. It is wild. Caitlin cooked. I mean, this is is ridiculous. Now, this box score right here, and this is what I showed her at the end of the game myself, nine rebounds. But regardless, it was an insane performance. This is the last five games, folks, and she had that really bad three-point performance. But we're talking 30, 20, 29 in the last five games. Three games over 20 and two games over 30. She's a rookie, folks. She is a rookie. And the four steals tonight, absolutely absurd. And I said all week long as we were talking about all the drama that was going on with Caitlin Clark, I said they she desperately needed some days off. Coming straight out of the NC2A, straight into the league, into the hardest schedule, arguably in the history of the entire league, because they wanted to put so many games front-loaded for her and for... Uh, obviously, the popularity of the game to try to grow it. Uh, This is crazy. One player makes or breaks your league. Seriously. Seriously, this person hilariously trolls Angel Reese. Thank you, Angel Reese, for growing the game. (laughs) I mean, 
come on. That that ridiculous attendance is all you need to know about who's moving the needle in this league and who is not. It's insane. This is all you need to know about the Caitlin Clark effect. I mean, at one point, playing on the road towards the end of the game, Christy Sides pulls Clark out of the game. The visiting arena booed. All right, now she put her right back in just a few seconds later, but at the end of the game, the visiting arena is booing because Caitlin Clark comes out of the game. Now, who exactly are people there to see? Caitlin Clark. Uh, I mean, it's it was pretty remarkable to watch tonight. She fired it up again in her 12th game in the league. She went 38, 6, and 4. Just, what, four games removed from a very similar, ridiculous stat line? Man, when she gets through, obviously, what is going to be a gauntlet, rough rookie season with all these jealous WNBA players gunning at her and coming after her, and they're going to be big time mad when they see that attendance, I can't wait to hear what the gate was. What I mean by the gate, the actual revenue that was made tonight. Hell, it I don't know if it would have broke that all-time record that New York set a couple of weeks ago, but it is going to be a monster gate out of D.C. Uh, after selling that many tickets. Wow, what a performance. Had a blast watching the game tonight. Uh, as a family, once again, we sat down to watch the game, and we're screaming at the TV. We're screaming at the TV, uh, having a blast. And I think there's a lot of families and a lot of viewers setting down and tuning in in that way. That's something the league has not had prior. Caitlin, Caitlin Clark out there killing it again. Uh, what a great performance. What a great performance. Tell me what you think. Black and white sports supporters, Caitlin Clark went out there and crushed it yet again. Uh, she's struggling, question mark. Uh, inquiring minds want to figure that one out. Stop it. Stop the hate. <laughs> Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.